so hey y'all welcome or welcome back to the channel and today is another unboxing so i am actually going to be unboxing my birthday gift so my birthday was back in march but it took me a while to figure out what i wanted what i wanted h to get me and then i'm just now having a chance to open it because i mean we've just been busy so i got the breville commercial juice fountain xl pro yes pretty impressed that i did that right and it's a gigantic box let me show you and it's very it's very heavy i don't know why i needed a commercial juicer but i don't know it's kind of one of those things that it's like i know i'm not gonna buy it for myself so i asked for you know something crazy that's kind of what hank says he's like listen get something that you will never buy like i'm like all right so <laughs> that's what i got this uh he ordered from william sonoma so let's unbox this let's see what's up let's get to juicing dude this box is huge i'm not sure how i'm gonna like how i'm gonna do this let me figure it out <laughs> Okay, so it looks like you get this little booklet on how things work. Oh, that's cool. It kind of tells you which fruits and vegetables are in season, that kind of thing. That's cool. Not gonna lie. Probably won't read that. All right, so maybe this way? All right, let's see. kind of heavy y'all since I became a plant mom there's so many like fruit flies in here or whatever you call them okay so got the container I think this is some sort of cleaning brush. This obviously needs to be taken off. All right. So then we got the chamber. Oh, okay. My husband will be so annoyed right now because I don't read directions. Okay, there are arrows, so a line. Okay. Kind of going off of this like 
picture on the front. So, that's, uh, where'd this thing come from? Let's see. That goes there. basically looks like this is where you catch all the juice through this little it's kind of hard to see but there is a little hole cut out there so looks like that basically fits in there okay huh something like that Seems right. You know what? Hold on. I feel like this little piece that's in the bottom. Come on. There we go. I feel like this should be on something. All right, I'm gonna have to read these directions. Hold on. All right, let's read some of these directions. I hate reading the directions. I just wanna like get going. Does anybody else read directions? Or do you just like jump in it? All right, filter bowl, blah, 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 blah. Can be placed over spout to juice directly into a cup. Oh, okay. So this little piece, as you can see, can go on the side of the machine. And instead of using this whole thing, this big, this big thing, you can juice directly into like a little cup. So it has some nozzles here and I'm actually gonna move this over to the counter so I can kind of show you more of what this does. And also learn more of what this does and get to juicing. All right, so we have citrus berry, cucumber melon, apple celery, carrot, pineapple, and ginger. So we have from soft, it's hard to see over here, to hard, and that's max. So that's cool. That thing, <laughs> it sounds commercial. That thing sounds mighty. All right, so I've washed that. Take this little piece off because we're going into this bucket. And then... Oh. And actually, I think the lid has to go on first. Maybe not. Yeah? Seems right. I need the top. All right, so got the apples. And I'm not sure if you're supposed to be able to throw in a whole apple or parts of it. So I just like, I just halved it. So it looks like apple is about here. So I'm just going to turn it on and see what happens. So let's go. What happened? Oh my gosh. What did I do? Oh my gosh, y'all. I knew exactly what I did. Didn't do, really. This thing needs to be up here and locked. Okay, so. <laughs> there we go. All right, let's try this again. So apple. Whoa. 
So, seems like a lot of things were flying around. I think I'm gonna put it in, then turn it on. So let's try that. Okay. Now we're gonna turn it to Apple. So again, I'm gonna put the apples in, then turn it on. So, so far, like all the, you know, peeling looks like it's been caught back here, which is nice. So now I'm gonna try some peaches. So obviously I feel like this should go without saying, which people always follow that with saying it should go without saying, but we're gonna take the seed out of the peaches because there's no way that goes through there. So let me take the seeds out of the peaches and then we're gonna do some peaches. All right, now we got some peaches. So let's throw some peaches in here. And obviously peaches are much less hard than apples. So I'm just gonna go down to citrus. So I don't think it'll need that. It doesn't say peaches on here, but we're gonna go with like one of the softer settings because it doesn't need to be that rough. So let's go. Right. Well, I can tell you it smells good. Mm. I can't wait to try all this. All right, let's keep going. Now we have all of this juice in here and I'm sure it looks a little, a little wonky, but I imagine the separation is because apple juice maybe is a little harder and a little heavier than peach juice. So let me start up and see what it tastes like. Looks a little weird. I'm not going to lie. need to make some more round ice so I think what I'm gonna do is let it settle and then skim off that foam that came from the peaches but I still want to try it because it's peach and apple so it can't be that gross so let's try it it's delicious put a little gin with that mmm okay That's really good though. It's just foamy. I gotta figure out what the foam situation going on is because there's no peach setting. Surely you can juice peaches. That's crazy. So I have one more thing, a mango, and I wanna juice that mango. So let's see what that mixes with when we have the peach, the apple, and the mango. So let's do that. All right, so got the mango, obviously, there's a seed in there, took that out.
jumped on that one. I feel like there's a good bit of like fruit actually coming through the back and juice coming through the back so i'm not sure like see some of this <laughs> sorry i know it looks gross but some of this is actually like fruit and stuff so i'm not sure like if there is a certain setting or certain fruits and vegetables that need to be done on this but you know we're learning we're gonna figure it out all right so like i said i'm gonna throw this in the fridge let it separate take off the top part that is the um the peach and i can see the mango kind of seeping through and we're gonna let that separate and then we're gonna clean this so i'm gonna deconstruct this probably look at the manual for that to make sure i don't mess it up and see how we clean this thing of mango well it's kind of skin but I don't know all right there's hella juice in there so I'm gonna pour that out and then get to rinse all that out all right so there's a lot of juice in here let me show you so see all that juice in there? I need to figure out a way to get that into this cup over here. So, oh, <laughs> y'all, this whole piece comes off. I'm done. Mm. Ah. So that's nice since that hole is right there in that spout perfection all right so what's nice is this looks like a decent bit of mango juice so let me uh let me try it that is delicious it tastes just like um like a naked juice if you've ever had those juices it tastes just like that which is nice because that means naked juices are actually uh pretty accurate then so this is good it's real good I need a little gin in this. So I have a little uh, Hendrix Midsummer Solstice. <laughs> I listen, I know juicing is for healthy reasons, but it's also for like good tasting reasons too. Nice little shot. Ooh. <laughs> Listen, I don't think I'm a genius, but with this one thing with gin, I might be. Mm. Mm. Just what I needed to keep cleaning. So let's let's keep cleaning. But the good thing is, the nice thing is, is that little piece that I just took off, that last piece, it looks like it keeps everything pretty much separated from this whole base, which is very nice. So let me finish doing all that. So I hope y'all enjoyed this unboxing of the Breville Commercial Juice Fountain XL Pro because it was fun. I am definitely gonna like figure out which fruits are better. I'll probably do like some of the softer fruits when they are, you know, pretty like ripe. So that way they're harder and they're easier to, I guess, juice. 
Um, but the cleanup wasn't too bad. I mean, it is a few pieces to clean, but like they're all easy to clean. It doesn't get into like this base. So pretty happy with my birthday gift. I cannot wait, cannot wait for fall. And when we go apple picking, I'll get to have all these apples and I can just make fresh apple juice and apple cider and just all the things. But I do love it. Um, I mean, it's pretty expensive, which is why it was a birthday gift, but I'm happy I got it. I can't wait to do more things with it. Hank will be very happy that I finally opened it and used it. So if you've watched all this way, like I said, I appreciate you. Like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. Bye y'all. I really just think adding gin to anything is just, it's a good idea, you know? You know how everybody has the, like their catchphrases? Mm, you know, like set it and forget it. You know, dessert first, all those things. But I think, just add gin to it. It's pretty delicious. Too bad Hank's not here, because I would like for him to try it, but this little swallow is not gonna last very long. And yes, I know that's a very southern thing. A little swallow, <laughs> just a little sip. What do y'all say? Do y'all have a term for just a little, a little bit? Just a little bit in the bottom.